Um, <clears throat> this is a uh, Midtown video. Uh, this video is for um, Midtown Red Pill Men. And I'm going to describe to you guys, describe to you as, uh, I'm going to describe a woman to you. Okay. This woman, I mean, when she graduated from high school, she didn't want to move out of her parents' house and, and live in an apartment and pay bills. Well, not pay bills, like pay rent. And she didn't want to like get her get herself get herself a house of her own and pay bills, like electricity, water, uh, land slash property taxes. Um, she doesn't want she doesn't want any of the any of that responsibility. So she wants to live with her mom and dad, and just live free off of them and don't want, don't have to worry about paying bills. And all she does is just get it, just have a job and just make money and just, just take all her hard earned money and just spend all her hard earned money on things that she really doesn't need, like jewelry, purses, um, electronics, um, anything, anything that she wants, and she, anything that she wants. She doesn't want to live. She doesn't want to live on her own and. She gets into it with her parents and she moves out and moves into a home, move, move into a, a relative's home. And, and she does the same thing, just, just have a job and just make money and get a paycheck and just spend her money on anything that she wants. And plus, she doesn't like to clean up. She's lazy. Um, she'll eat food and and half eat it and just stick it in the refrigerator like a bowl of beans with a and just leave just put a bowl with beans and just leave a fork in it a spoon in it just put half eaten food in the refrigerator or she or she or she has food in containers that she takes to her job and what she does with the empty containers she just takes them and just dumps them in a garage and just leave them there and leave them just just to stink up the place and just make it smell really bad and plus she's a hoarder and she just she, and she just she just just she just accumulate a lot of stuff that she buys with her money and just puts it in a closet or just throw just throw things that she buys all over the floor Yes, money, CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray, disc. Just throw anything on the floor. Plus, if you if you tell her what she's doing, she needs to stop doing it. She gets angry and gets into an argument with you, and she doesn't want to hear it. And she thinks that you're being mean to her because you because you're saying the truth about her. Okay, she's in her 40s now, and she still does this. And, <laughs> and well, before she hit 40, I mean, she been living with people all her life in her 20s and 30s. She lived with relatives. A.K.A. she lived with her grandmother after her grandmother died. She moved in with her brother. And just freeloading off of him and just doing the same thing that she did when she lived with other people. And she just making this guy just miserable. She just goes nuts. Like the guy can't go in the kitchen and cook food for himself. She goes in and tells him, why, what is he doing? And do this and do that. And why using this skillet and this and that. And... All she does is she thinks she's doing something around the house. All she does is just wash clothes and and dictate the dictate to her brother how he cooks and tells him how he should do things and and that's it. And she doesn't clean up or anything. And she doesn't 
and she doesn't care about his health or her health. I mean, I mean, she's doped up on different types of medication. She is messed up in the head. I mean, psych. I mean, psychotic outbursts. Get angry at people for no reason at all. And she just like she just she'll just she'll if you live with her she'll just make you completely miserable and drive you to insanity and want to kill yourself. I mean, she's very very toxic and and she's delusional. She's out of touch with what's going on. The only thing she cares about is the health care in this country. And, and the minimum wage and that's it she doesn't give a rat's ass about gun control or anything <laughs> I mean she just she, she I mean she she's a mess by the way and she is a disaster and I know you red pill uh, uh, midtown guys like or avoid women like her. I don't blame you guys. I mean, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. I mean, I, I, I've taken the red pill myself. And I don't have anything to do with women like her. I mean, <laughs> anything. Like her. I mean, and I kind of feel sorry for guys like, um, Guys like Robin Williams who killed himself because like, he had two women hounding him and for child support and just taking all his money and just drove him to kill himself. I mean, I feel sorry for men who, who had to go through stuff like that. But this Midtown Red Pill movement is it's gaining steam. And it is. And... These guys are men who just fed up with with like women and all kinds of stuff that threatens them. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Well, anyway, um, back to this woman. She's in her forties right now. She's doing the she's doing the exact same. She's doing the same old shit that she'd been doing when she was in her twenties and thirties. I mean, I mean, how messed up is this woman is? I mean, plus, I mean, she's making her brother even more miserable. I mean, she cooks the, I mean, she worry about him taking his medication and getting his medication at a cheaper price and telling him what to eat and what not to eat. And she doesn't like she doesn't like cook him any. She cooks food for himself and doesn't say a word. Uh, doesn't doesn't tell him like is food ready or anything. I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, and she, and she has <laughs> she, she has di she has diabetes, high blood pressure, um, thyroid problems. And like, and she's drinking like, like 10 or 20, 30, 40 cans of Coca-Cola and Hawaiian punch or any drink that's filled with sugar. I mean, and then she turns around and sticks herself with insulin needles. I mean, she think these insulin needles are just going to save her. But they're not. I mean, she doesn't exercise. She doesn't eat right or anything. I mean, I want to exercise. I mean, I'm 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 exercising. I'm trying to eat healthy, but she doesn't want to do any of that, and she needs to do this <laughs> because we live in a country with no universal health care plan. We just have a health care plan that just basically, I mean, if you get sick, if you have no ins you have no insurance. You get denied coverage, or if you 
if you pay pay for the health care, I mean, you just you just go into you just go into bankruptcy or lose your home. And plus, you deny coverage if you have a, if you have cancer or anything. You you get sick, something that's life threatening that will kill you. You'll just die just like that. I mean, because the U.S. health care system is a pay to play system where if you rich and you have a lot of money, you can afford the best health care money you can buy. But if, you, if you're not rich, if you're poor, then screw you. We don't we don't want you. We're not going to help you. You're on your own. Piss off. Go fuck yourself. That's what the U.S. healthcare system is all about. But this messed up in the head woman <laughs> doesn't. Well, she sees it, but <laughs> she doesn't want to save herself. She doesn't want to eat healthy or save her health. Like she really doesn't care about herself. And you know what? <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> these these midtown red pill guys, guys like you. Or taking the pill and see women like her. And you guys are just going your own way. You don't want to deal with women like her. But I ain't saying like all women in America are like they like there's some like there's 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 some who there's some women who have common sense who care about men who respect men and know men are in you know are important to them. They know that they they have that's why they have the things that they have because of men and and yeah <clears throat> they're just like they're just very rare just small portions of them not not that many of them are around but there's less of them and there's more of these messed up in the head women and like I said about foreign women like I hear hear some of these midtown guys like talk about foreign women are better but you know I mean foreign women they're, they're not all they I mean some of them are good some of them are bad I mean they're just a mixed bag like 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 western American women are like I mean I mean yeah I mean well I can say they're not as bad as women in, in the in the US and Canada and other westernized countries are like but <clears throat> yeah but what do you mid towel red pill guys think of this woman that I did I subs did I did I um sub did I um describe to you? I mean, what do you think of her? I mean, do you? I mean, I know you're gonna hate her, and <laughs> I know you guys are gonna bash her, and yeah, I'll, I'll and I agree, I'll bash her too. <laughs> like, who wanna like? I'm like, I don't wanna live with this woman. I mean, this woman's a complete nutcase. Oh well. Well, um. Well, I gotta go. Like the video, hate the video. Um, subscribe or unsubscribe, or leave a comment. Oh yeah, um, I can't respond to anybody. Uh, I can't I can't respond to anybody on YouTube because of this spam thing going on. I mean, I left some comments on other videos, and they're not showing up publicly on on these on these um videos on 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 all all the YouTube on some on the um YouTube channels because of some spam thing going on. So yeah, I mean, I might I'm I mean these comments might show up show up on my end but they won't sh I mean comments might show up on, on your end to me but they won't show up on, on the public end on YouTube so yeah I'll read your comments alright and oh well, by the way I probably won't be able to read them because I'm gonna be very very busy <laughs> with work alright gotta go see you later by the way she's fat black and out of shape and her brother is disabled and she just looks at him as just a meal ticket of having a place to live so if something happens to him she will not live in the house and take on the responsibilities of paying bills paying taxes 
She didn't want none of that. None of that at all. So just want to add that. All right. Out. I'm out.